So, in this video, we will be printing this pattern in four or more ways from basic to advanced. Okay. So, first of all, we will be using the most basic method by using two loops, one for the rows and the other inner loop for the columns. Okay. And we will be putting these values later on and use a print statement inside the inner loop. Okay. Now, in the outer loop, as you can see that we have five rows. So, we have to execute the outer loop for five times. So, make it one to six. Six is not inclusive. So, the value of i will be ranging from one to one less than six, that is one to five. So, the outer loop will be executing five times for each rows. It means it will run for five rows. All right. Now, in the inner loop, as you can see that the values are changing from 5 to 1. Just have a look at the first row. And here you can see that it is ranging from 5 to 1. In the second value, what you have to put is, when i is equal to 1, we see that the values in the row are printing from 5 to 1. If i is equal to 2, the values are being printed from 5 to 2. You see the pattern, recognizing it? i is equal to 2, up to 2 i is equal to 3 in the third row up to 3. So, we have to place this value here from 5 to i minus 1. Okay. So, let us understand why this minus 1 came here. When i is equal to 1, the inner loop will be from 5 to i minus 1 that is 0, but this value is not inclusive as per the property of the range. So, the loop will be from 5 to not including 0. So, it will be from 5 to 1. That is why we have done this i minus 1. And as we are decreasing the values, so we are going to put a step size of minus 1. And in the print statement, we are going to put j here because we want to print the values from 5 to i minus 1, that is 5 to i. Okay? as the values in the columns are changing. That is why we have put j here because the inner loop is for j and then put a comma here and equals in the single quotes put a space so that you have the columns value separated by a space. Press enter backspace then a print statement because this and equals single quotes will make the values printed in the row itself and now we have to print the values in the next row from the next iteration. So, that is why we have used the print statement here and now execute it and here you can see that we have the same required pattern which we wanted here. All right. Now, in the method 2, we are going to decrease the number of loops here. Here we had two loops. So, now we are going to print it using just one single loop. We will be starting from i is equal to 1 okay? and we will be using a while loop for this until i is less than 6. So, i will be ranging from 1 to 5 and will exit when i is equal to 6. Print statement here and inside the print, we are going to range the elements from 5 to i minus 1 and in the step size of minus 1 because we are decrementing the values. Okay? Press enter and increase the value of i by 1. So, this 5 comma i minus 1 is same as we did here. So, you understand the picture. Okay? I do not have to explain you again. And now, just execute it and here you can see that we have the same required pattern which we printed earlier and which we wanted also. All right. Now, in the method third, we are going to use a string and inside the string, we are going to put 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press enter, use a for loop to enumerate over the string s. Okay? And inside the print statement, we will be using a star s to print all the elements inside the string using slicing. Okay? And we have to print from the starting element i is equal to 0, the index of the values inside the string and j is the value at that ith index. Okay? So, when i is equal to 0, j is equal to 5, i is equal to 1, j is equal to 4. Okay? So, this way you can get all the values and we are going to print from the starting 0th index to the last index at first value. So, we are going to use 5 minus i not here inside the square brackets 5 minus i. Okay? So, what this 5 minus i means? 
the star s is a range of elements starting from the index 0 to this 5 minus i so when i is equal to 0 5 minus i will be equal to 5 and this value is not inclusive so the range of elements will be from 0th index to 1 less than this value so it will be from 0 to 4 and all the elements will be printed and when i is equal to 1 this value 5 minus i will be equal to 4 and 4 will not be included so it will be from 0th index to 1 less than 4 that is 3 so the elements 5 4 3 2 will be printed with a space in between the columns and let's execute it and here you can see that we have the required pattern now in the method 4 we are going to further reduce it into just two lines and a single loop so we are going to use a for loop for that for i in range and inside range we are going to execute the loop for five times so we are using it one to six and inside the print statement here we are going to print the range of elements the same we did here in the while loop what we are doing is just converting the while loop into the for loop so that we have lesser number of lines okay and if we execute this you can see that we have the same required pattern so we have just decreased the number of lines from 4 to 2 and number of loops that we had two earlier now we have just a single loop and two lines so we increase the efficiency plus the program size has also been decreased please subscribe to support pi pro tricks and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more